so we can see the top selling product in the old system so if i want to see that first of all we have to go to the sales and reporting now here we can switch uh, to the pivot view okay now here we have everything now we have to choose what we want to see okay so first of all go to the majors and we want to see the total um, so here we just untick all the other option and we can just keep the uh, total as a uh, total measures and if i want to see the top selling products so here i have to select the product okay so here i can see the all the products with the respective amount okay now <clears throat> Now in the same case, uh, we can just add the time range if I want to see the last month performance. Okay, so the range uh, last 30 days. Okay, so okay, so this one is the result of my last month uh, performance of the product. Okay, uh, now here we need to sort out. So if on the total, if we click on the total, so it will just sort out the uh, lines and now we can see the top selling products if I want a five product then I can just consider only the five lines or I can just export to XLS and then just keep the five lines and the rest of the lines I just I, I just have to remove okay so this is the how you can get the uh, top selling product uh, in the case of the total amount now in the same case if I want to see uh, the top selling product based on the quantity okay so here uh, we have a filter quantity order date so we can keep the quantity order date and again sort out so now we can see the office chair that is most sold 11 quantity in the past 30 days so this is my last month performance okay so this is the how you can see the top selling products within the time period okay thank you for watching